okay make sure you have uh, what we call faculty of applied science uh, manual eh? all right this is your laboratory manual uh, soft copy okay so once you open your laboratory manual it's shown mic 180 so it's general biochemistry okay what's meaning of mic 180 it's general biochemistry eh? okay that's what we call content on the second page of your front pages so number one will be your introductions okay so today's experiment will be the effects of beta amylase on starch okay page number five so next week inshallah will be qualitative test for amino acids so each of the lab you have a post question eh? okay tolong jawab dalam google form okay so for this semester we will done until experiment number six, subcondication and acid value, okay? The rest will be test for protein, colorimetric test for carbohydrate, and thin layer chromatography, right? Okay, introduction is more on the good laboratory practice, or GLP, for the biochemistry laboratory, okay? So this one is more on protocol, how you're using the lab, okay? Precaution, precaution, you have to meet, okay and then uh certain certain things you have you, you could have done in the labs okay all right that what we call uh, writing a laboratory report in here also eh? okay so why you need to do the laboratory report or reports is to document finding and communicate with their significance okay so that what we call a guide for you to do the reports on the second pages, on the fourth pages, eh, sorry, component of laboratory of report that you must, must have it is a title, objective, introduction, materials and methods, okay, results, discussion and conclusion. So please bear in mind, eh? so this report you have to done it by your, by individual, okay. All right, we go for the laboratory number one, the effects of beta amylase. Okay. Okay, beta amylase will hydrolyze. Beta amylase is one of the enzymes. Why? Because, as I said earlier, if a suffix names at the end of or, or, or at the end of the words you put ASE, it means an enzymes. Okay. So the main function for beta amylase is to hydrolyze the starch at the alpha one four linkage. This is the bond between to maltose okay and produce maltose okay this is not an enzyme eh? tapi nama dia adalah maltose eh? alright what is maltose maltose is a disaccharide in which glucose is linked to glucose okay linkage between two glucose here okay is what we call one alpha one four linkage okay so the bond between two glucose is what we call alpha 1 4 linkage that we're giving you maltose all right in which poses a reducing groups okay, what's many reducing group same as the function uh, reducing group have the what we call a functional group at the end of the structure or special part of the structure so make sure you can do the linkage of bonds okay so all resin sugar will be uh, reduced okay reduced means what Okay, check balik apa dia maksud reduce. Okay, means that electron will be gain or will be released. Kena check eh, reduce tu. Reduce. So, check balik nota MIC circle bawah kosong semalam. Okay, what's mean of reduce and oxidize? In other words, oxido reductase. Okay, kalau gamu eh. Okay, awak akan belajar minggu depan tentang enzymes. Types of enzyme, right? So, it means of reduce. Okay, please check what's meaning of reduce okay so we use a special reagent what we call dnsa so please find what's the meaning of dnsa all right so for further you have to open your second video right that we given so we say about dnsa in general okay so what dnsa reagent do is will be change the color from yellow to browns okay yellow to brown okay right the beta amylase touches reductions again eh, the word reduction we have to find it is to be studied by the following a uh, progress curve all right 
Okay, uh, to do this research, okay, or experiments, it's very simple. All you need is you have to mix all the material A, B, and C here, right? This is the material that we need to mix up, okay? So we're using a special apparatus or tools that we call boiling tubes, okay? Right? So we have to mix all the starches, number one, A, put it about four mil, right? One percent, eh? One percent means starch is only one percent inside the mixture, all right? So if, say, you, you do about 100 mil, okay, of starches, one percent of 100 mil, okay? And then take about four mil. Another one will be acetate buffer. Make sure it's 1.0 molar and pH 5.0. Okay, it means that you have to put a little bit of acids. And then, take about 4 mil again from that portion or solution or acetate buffer solutions. Okay, and then top up with the distilled water for 5 mil. So, inside the boiling water, mixture, region, you have about 13 mil of volumes. And then, you have to incubate with using a incubator for 30 degrees of celsius right so why we need 30 de degree of celsius okay you have to you can you will know next week okay at least uh, actually uh, the best temperature for enzyme to works okay is about 30 degrees celsius all right so another one you have to put another separate tube you have to uh, what we call uh ready when another step separated tube but that one you place a beta amylase okay so we put about one mil of it okay inside the white beta amylase and then incubate again at the same temperature in the incubator okay all right so protocol number three we have to prepare the series of label tube containing two mil of dnsa okay so what you have to label to label is from t blank tip number one t zero tip number two t two tip number three t four t eight t fifteen t thirty and t sixteen all right so what's meaning of t t represent time time blank time zero time two time four not not means uh, time two minutes is time at two minutes okay from zero t0 zero to t2 means time at two minutes okay two to four means interval will be two minutes time at four minutes okay maknanya t kosong kepada t2 awak memerlukan masa yang kedua minit kalau t2 kepada t4 maknanya adalah t4 minit ataupun awak kena tambah lagi Daripada T2 ke T4, kita perlukan lagi 2 minit untuk mencapai T4. Kalau T4, T8, awak perlukan 4 minit. Means that you have T8 tubes. Okay, so apa yang kita letak dalam T, T, T ni, alright. We put only 2 mil of DNSA region, alright. Okay, so this one you have to keep on ice. Okay, so add one mil of reaction mixture into the NSA tube label T blanks. Okay, so for T blank ataupun time blank, you must have put only mixture, this material number one, procedure number one, and the NSA saja. Okay, so T0, you have to put mixture, okay, with the enzyme and put inside the T0. Okay, so continue, right? Okay, to start the enzyme iteration, add 1 mil of beta amylase to the reaction mixture and mix. So, daripada procedure number 1, this one number 1 ni, material yang kita dapat mix ni, kita letak 1 mil of beta amylase. So, beta amylase tu daripada mana? Beta amylase tu dah yang kita letak dalam incubation selama 30, eh, sorry, dalam suhu 30 darjah Celsius. So once you mix one and number two, procedure number one, number two, barulah awak start awak punya eksperimen. So dekat situ awak akan dapat T0. 
quickly put the first solution yang sebanyak 1.0 mil ke dalam T0. Okay. Immediately, pipet 1.0 mil of the reaction mixture between procedure number 1 and procedure number 2 into density tube yang awak dah sediakan dengan label T0, T2, T4, T8. Tapi untuk yang first ni, ambil 1 mil saja daripada dua mixture procedure nombor 1 dengan 2 ke dalam T0. Okay. And then you have to wait for 2 minutes. Repeat sampling at times 2 minutes. Time another 2 minutes. Okay. 4 to 8, time another 4 minutes. 8 to 15, 15 to 30, 30 to 60. Alright. So setiap satu ni awak kena letak lebih kurang 1 mil between a mixture daripada procedure 1 and procedure 2. Okay. So bila dah siap semua, selama 60 minit tersebut, you have to put another or top up another 1 mil of water to each of the DNSA tube or tube DNSA yang awak letak tadi tu yang awak telah sediakan daripada T0 sampai T60. Okay, let it develop the colour. So what kind of colour? Okay, awak check balik introduction tadi eh. Alright. And read the absorbance at 560 nanometer. So dekat mana kita nak check absorbance? Kita gunakan spectrophotometer. Okay, this spectrophotometer is a very sensitive tool or apparatus. Okay, this one akan detect perubahan warna. Okay, so untuk kita dapatkan nilai kosong, we use a blank. Kat mana kita dapat blank? Adalah campuran antara DNSA dengan mixture sahaja tanpa kehadiran enzim. So that one we use as a zero for our spectrophotometer. Okay, and then we have to plot a graph. Absorbent against time. Okay, absorbent against times. So if we say absorbent against time, also versus time, to absorbent more on the y axis in your graph. Eh? Whereas against time, time will be your in x axis. Okay. To see the progress of beta amylase starches reduction ratio. So please note, eh, this one is a very biological works. So make sure dia bukan seperti eksperimen fizikal yang lain macam fizik ya, eh? okay so do some uh, homeworks to see example of beta amylase starches graph okay all right that's all for today briefings okay so for further updating of video eh dalam uh, ni this one okay honey okay So, boleh tengok video dekat lab effect of beta amylase on starches yang saya bagi dalam uh, future tu, okay. Dan juga ada dua video eh. So, there will be video number one and video number two. So, video number one, awak boleh check eh video apa. Video number two, video apa. Right. Okay. Is there any question? Is there any question left? No, sir. No, sir. Alright, so Okay, saya akan bagi awak uh, Soalan post uh, lab eh Okay, nanti dalam WhatsApp So, tolong jawab Okay, is there any question sebelum kita uh, Stopkan kita punya briefing ni? Ada soalan tak? No Okay, so far faham eh? Faham Okay, tahu tak cara-cara nak buat Experiment tersebut eh? Kau untuk further awak just tengok dalam Video eh, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so kalau tak ada apa-apa, saya end kita punya briefing ni. Nanti akan bagi link untuk awak jawab Google uh, post lab question. Right? Okay, jangan lupa isi awak punya tu. I discussion sebagai attendance. Okay, thank you very much. See you next week, insyaAllah. Thank you, sir. Right? Okay, welcome. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Assalamualaikum sir. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, bye.